everyone. Happy Wednesday. Thank you for joining me tonight. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery patterns and kits. Thanks, replay viewers, for watching, and thank you, YouTube viewers, for watching as well. This will go up on YouTube at Penguin and Fish Movies when we're done here tonight. Thanks again, guys. I see you starting to pop in. Uh, we are working on the Jacqueline Steves I Love Home Block of the Month Quilt Along. We are this far on block four, so we are doing needle turn applique for all of the plants and the hearts. And then the rest, all the, the house lines here, we are going to stitch uh, with embroidery. So we finished the tops of the flowers, the little patchworky petals and the centers last night. They're really poofy. They got little butterflies on. I'm excited about those. And tonight we're gonna do all these little tiny leaves. I don't know if we'll get done with all the leaves, but we're gonna get as far as we can on them tonight. Uh, this is a free block of the month quilt along. So if you go to the Jacqueline Steves website or click the link in my post here, you will get there and it is free until the end of December. So make sure to download Download it all by then. Uh, we this is the fourth block, with, which is the last block, and then we will uh, starting December. We'll getting we'll be getting the instructions for the sashing and the borders, and we'll be starting on that as well. And next week, Monday, this coming Monday, actually, we'll be starting the Heidi Boyd uh, Hemlock Forest Friends uh, stuffed animal unicorn. It comes in a cute little kit. Uh, if you want to do this with us, make sure you get the kit like immediately because we are starting this on Monday. So we will work on this Monday and Tuesday. And then Wednesday I will be out and then Thursday I'll be out for Thanksgiving, but I will be working on it again on Friday if we don't get it done on Monday and Tuesday. So that's the plan. It comes with everything, even the stuffing. So it should be fun. And I don't, you don't need a sewing machine for this either. So this is a good, nice, in the middle of working on some big projects, uh, projects, a nice, quick, fun thing to get done. And I think it'd be, you know, perfect for a Christmas gift, whether you're giving it to a crafty person or you're giving the cute little unicorn away. But I'm excited to get going on this. So that'll be Monday. And then we'll be back after that on to working on the borders and sashing for our quilt. So I'm stoked. We are, the time is just shooting by <laughs> this, this month. So we are already coming up to all these new projects again. So I'm stoked. Uh, all right, I'm gonna flip you guys around and we'll get going for the night. Thank you for joining me. All right, I think we did pretty well last night. Uh, we, we made a few decisions on the circles. I know we spent some time changing the sizes of the circles, but I think we got them just awfully cute. And then with the little, little pale butterflies in there, I'm, I'm excited. So all that's left are these six little, um, little leaves. And uh, this is what I have for scraps from that fabric. And I think this is gonna be more than enough for all these six leaves. So I love needle turn applique because you can just, and applique in general, because you can just use all these scraps. All right, so I'm going to just take, uh, this is the, our circle that we used, our little uh, post from our postcard that we used for these centers. I'm gonna just kinda eyeball this little shape out of here. And I'm gonna use that as my guide for tracing, we'll start bigger, for tracing my uh, lines to fabric. Oh, you like the middle better than you thought? Yeah, I do too. I think, you know, they did start out a little bit big and they were covering up a lot of the petals, but um, just making a tish smaller, making them a tish smaller, I think did the job. I mean, we're still covering up a lot of that petal, but I still feel like you can tell that the petals are patchworky and, and I don't know, I, I, think it, I think it turned out, turned out nice. All right. So here's our little, gosh, this is so small, I can hardly hold it. So I think I need to just trim the tops and bottoms a little bit. 
this isn't going to matter so much, but because we'll use we'll use these lines as our guide, the lines on the the applique or the background as our applique guide. But I do want to. This is just so I can cut out the seam allowance. Okay. But wow, I can barely hold this tiny little bit. All right, I, I think that's good enough for us to get where we're going here. So, all right, I'm gonna take just my scraps here and my water soluble marking pen, and I'm just going to draw this little dude on here six times. But I do need to leave enough space for for the seam allowance. Oh gosh, I can't even hold it there. Well, I guess we'll have to tie. We'll have to draw each side separately because I can't. My, my fingers are too big for it. Oh yeah, the middles are bright and cheery. Yeah, I, I do think it did brighten the whole thing up a little bit just because they're so light. So I think that worked out. I know tiny leaves. I think these leaves are smaller than the ones in the other in the other um, block three, other block. So we'll get three out of here for sure, and then I'll get three out of that other piece. Plenty of scraps. Oh, I could use a glue stick. I think, you know, I don't need to bother with that though. This is, this is gonna go fast enough. Let's get some of that line in there. I just need to quickly draw these out and um, cut them out. Again, I'm gonna use these lines on my background piece more of my as as my guide um, more than this anyway. So I think we'll be okay. All right, just three more. There's six total. See how many we can do tonight. One will be like, we'll have to like warm up on one. Hopefully the, the ones after the first one go a little faster. Yeah, you know what, Lucy, that's totally true. Let's just draw them freehand. That's probably way easier. <laughs> Let's just go like that. There we go. <laughs> it's a little small, but again, all I need to know is that I have the general shape and a, and a big enough seam allowance. So yeah. I suppose I didn't need to bother with that whole template, but yeah. All right, uh, here we go. All right, and we are going to embroider the baby hearts on the door and our long arm room, yeah, the long arm quilting room. That's right, our little sun patio is the long arm quilting studio. Um, I, I was thinking about that last night, Gretchen, and I'm not positive what I wanna do for that yet. Um, so we do have these little hearts here. I was thinking of maybe not having them in it at all because we have these hearts, uh, but we'll see. They are pretty cute there, so I might, I might add them in with the embroidery still. All right, let's cut these guys out. They would be my only hearts in this that I don't applique, but again, I don't need to stick to those rules really. Oh, I think I need way less seam allowance on this. I suppose we can trim as we go a little bit. So I need to stuff all this seam allowance in in these little leaves. You know what, I, I think I am gonna trim these really close. There's not much space to, to um, stuff all this fabric. So you know what, I think before I cut the other ones out, I did cut this pretty close, the seam allowance. So I'm gonna see if that's easy enough or if I feel like I need more seam allowance and then I'll adjust cutting out all my other scraps after. So I don't know, where should we start? Um, you know what, I kinda wanna work from the top and, and work my way down. So I'm gonna match these lines up, uh, you know, best I can. Again, I'm you know gonna use the background piece as a guide. So as long as I'm kinda centered in there, I think we'll be okay. Let's get, we got uh, Phil here. 
Uh, he's holding our little, a few applique pins. All right, let's just try and grab that. All right, maybe I should just hold it and place it. I think something like that will do. Oop, missed the fabric. Oh, come on. Piece is so small I can't even pin it. Oh, your leaves are fuzzily. Yeah, that's what I'm a little worried about too, Gretchen. I think I'm gonna have to stab this in the middle. There we go. Yeah, so I'm thinking, oh, gosh, you know what? I'm not even gonna pin it. I'm gonna just hold it there. It's so small and the pin's actually distorting it a little bit. I think it's gonna be easier just to hold it there. All right, thread. Let's grab my little needle. Um, I could use glue, but I don't especially like using glue for needle turn because I don't want the like middle to stick down because then it'll look like there's that little glue dot there. And I'm sure, you know, after I stuff everything underneath, it'd be fine. But I think, I think this might be the, the best, the best bet. I think the glue for this, in my theory, um, in my head works best when you have like a bigger shape and you can put the glue just on the seam allowance because then, then you'll never see that it's been glued at all. I'm gonna just hold this and see what happens. Let's Tuck under an edge. All right, that'll do. I'm starting on, you know, what what's the best straightaway, which would be kind of in the center of the little leaf. I know this is kind of crazy that we're stitching a piece this small, but that's part of the challenge. Um, that's why this is block four. I think uh, we definitely got our money's worth on block four for uh, practicing tiny applique. Look, I can fold this all up right away. Oops, I thought something felt weird. I gotta come up through both fabrics. All right, I'm gonna try and shape this a little bit. It's already looking a little bit bumpy. Oh, you like my little purple scissors? Yep, so the scissors are in, which means your uh, embroidery supplies bundles are headed out the door this week. I'm hoping to have them all done by the end of the week. Uh, a few of them went out today and uh, uh, they'll go out over the next couple days. But yeah, so I don't have the uh, scissors available yet for individual sale, but I'm hoping to do that real soon here. Uh, once I get all the, once I get all these, uh, all your bundles shipped out, then I can, uh, then I'll uh, work on getting them up in the shop. But there will, if you guys ordered a, a, a Penguin and Fish Embroidery Supplies bundle, they'll be going out, uh, yeah, the next couple days, but the um, you'll be getting an email tomorrow morning. So, uh, oh, you got the word from PayPal that your address was confirmed. Oh, awesome. So uh, that means yours was probably one of the ones that went out today, Gretchen. Um, there's a few more stacks that need to go out. But tomorrow you, morning, if you, no matter whether your, your uh, bundle went out or not yet, you'll be getting an email with a link to the drinks for two embroidery pattern. That was the bonus, the bonus gift for you guys. So if you ordered the bundle, keep a lookout for your, for your emails tomorrow. And if you didn't get it, uh, first check, I mean, you know, let me know if you didn't get the email, it should go out. Uh, you should have it by the afternoon tomorrow. It should go out tomorrow morning. And, uh, if you can't find it, check your spam and also check 
the address that your PayPal has gone to. So it might, it might be there. Oh, you got the notice last night after we ended class. Awesome, Phyllis. Yeah, so a few, a few are going out. And thanks for letting me know that you got a PayPal notice. Sometimes I don't know, um, I don't quite know what emails you guys are getting from PayPal. <laughs> And do we print it out on special transfer paper? You can, Gretchen. So, okay, so if you guys are going to print your PDF pattern of the drinks for two, if you are going to print that onto the uh, sulky stick and stitch, because you guys get that sulky stick and stitch in your, in your embroidery bundle as well, make sure to print only the pattern, which I believe is page three of the pattern. Uh, not the reversed pattern, just the normal black and white pattern. Make sure you don't accidentally hit, like, you know, print every page or something. Because you don't want to don't wanna waste the, the stick and stitch. That sucks when you accidentally print, print the wrong page onto that. And also, uh, if you want it the same size as, as uh, how it comes, make sure to remember that your printer in your print dialog box, make sure that it's set to uh, print at actual size. Make sure it's not set to fit the page or something like that. It'll be fine if you do do fit to page, it'll just be a hair smaller. All right, you know what? I think we're rocking this tiny leaf. I'm feeling good about it. And yeah, any seam allowance bigger than this, and I think it'd be an issue. I like to print on regular paper first, then scan the copy and print. Oh, that's not a bad idea, Deborah. Then, then you'll for sure not accidentally print the wrong, the wrong page. And you know, honestly, it's probably not the end of the world if you print the wrong page on it. You could just print right over it again. I mean, you'll see all the lines from the other one, but those will just melt away. So as long as you are um, stitching just the lines that you want to stitch, then those other lines from the old printout won't, won't matter so much. All right, we are at this other side. I'm just going to try and tuck in the stitch. All right, I'm going to come back up at that point again. Oh, I can't get there. Good enough. Oh, shoot. And I accidentally pulled the thread out of the needle. Oh, you don't have a printer any longer. Yeah, you should be able to bring it to a copy shop and it should work fine there. Sometimes they'll allow you to use um, your own paper there. Okay, let's trim this last little bit off and tuck all this in here. See if we can squish all this. We'll try and fold over this edge first. We're kind of tucking in that corner piece so it's kind of flat on top. And now let's try and stuff it all in here. We'll use the needle, I think. All right, I think I got it at the point quick. I'm gonna tack that down because I think that's good, but I definitely need to shape shape it before I put the last couple stitches in. But I want to get this little part that's good, good tack down first. Oh yeah, local library, maybe that's a good idea. Ideally, if you have your own printer or, or a friend's printer, that um, that's probably the best. I mean, it does, it does work through all printers, I would just get a little nervous about running them through one of those huge photocopiers, even though I'm pro I'm sure it's just fine, but um, you know, I'd be a little nervous about it getting stuck in there. 
but for no real reason. I mean, it should be just fine. All right, first tiny leaf is done. Let's just put one more stitch through there and we'll tie it off in the back. Not too bad, I don't think. Teeny tiny leaf. Dang, that, that was much easier than it than it has been, so I don't know. I think we're getting better. I'm I'm pretty stoked. I'm excited about this tiny little leaf. It didn't take too long, and I think it's uh, definitely an improvement from where I started uh, last year in the needle turn applique land. Let's put another little knot in there. Weave it in the back, and we will work on our next one. All right, so I think the small seam allowance was definitely the way to go. Oh, look at it. First little leaf. Okay, uh, let's cut out some more. Oh, don't need any. There's none in that one. All right, so a smaller seam allowance. That's the plan here. I know, need a toothpick for the little ones. I think the pin is working okay. Or not the pin, the, the needle. So far, but if I need something sturdier then I'll grab one of these pins or something. All right, let's see how that does. Ooh, this one's really tucked in here, isn't it? All right, let's, oh gosh, I think, I think this is drawn way too big. I'm gonna trim even more off of this. I think my leaf is much smaller than the one that I drew on here. All right, let's try that. We'll just tuck more underneath, I think. Oh gosh, it's huge yet. All right, I gotta cut off more. Okay, that end. Oh, you bought your turkey today, nice. All right, uh, needle. Ooh, and I, I ordered my uh, new blankie from Betts White Studio Knits. I know we talked about that a little bit yesterday, but she's having a 30% off sale on her, on her throws until tomorrow, or through tomorrow. And I got the cute little winter scene one. I'm totally stoked. I think it's going to be the perfect kind of like winter, um, winter blankie. So... I can have something uh, holiday-ish out without being very holiday-ish. <laughs> Just a nice winter scene, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Can't wait. All right. Oh, you bought one too, Lucy. Nice. Oh yeah. I mean, with the with the thirty percent off, I mean, you save like just about fifty dollars, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, they're so beautiful. You're gonna love them when they come, you guys. They're they're so hefty. Ugh. They're, they're just like super luxurious, luxurious feeling and stuff. I, I love it. And, and the heaviness of it is so perfect for, for napping. I'm telling you, it's my go-to, even with all the quilts around, it's kind of my go-to napping blankie. There's just something about a knit that it just kind of wraps around you. So I'm, I'm digging it. Gosh, this is so little. I think I'm gonna have to do two stitches in here too. So, all right, I'm gonna stitch one here. And then we're already to this point. Okay. I think this this leaf is smaller than the other ones, or at least I drew it on a smaller one of the two. 
they're also cute, but that, that winter scene one was just really pretty and clever, I thought. Okay. We are at corner number one, and there is so much excess there. Let's snip a pile of that off. Eh, we can use we can use a little purple guy. If I can pick him up. I'm just gonna go like that. So now here's where my line is not really the same as my line on the applique piece isn't the same as the background. So I'm gonna just tuck it in until I can see the background line. Try and hold my needle again. So much to stuff in here. Ooh, get in there. I mean, that's a lot of seam allowance. I could have untucked that a little bit more, but I'm going to just try and tack it in there instead. Ooh, get that back in there, seam allowance. Oh, I gotta start thinking about those those uh, Christmas gifts. That's already like I, it feels like too early to have that on my brain, but that's like that's it's all ruminating in my head <laughs> what to get everyone. Uh, feels so early. I can't believe it's that time already. Nah, I should maybe tack this down again. I think I'm not, I think I don't quite have this tucked underneath here. Eh, it's going to be good enough for, for us. Oh, I'm just trying to get enough tucked underneath so I can get on the line of this bitty bitty one. I think this is definitely the smallest one though, so that's good. We'll get get it done and out of the way. I just need smaller stitches. Eh, good enough. I think two more stitches and we'll be at the second point, which means we are just about done with this feller. Oh, you're doing all your shopping online, Charlie Ann? Yeah, that's most likely what we'll do too. It's just easy. You can browse around and I don't know. I kind of like, lately I've been getting a lot of stuff from, you know, smaller companies and stuff and just kind of newer companies and handmade people. And, and that's been fun, fun to do lately. And, you know, Facebook's doing a pretty good job at advertising to me lately. I've been, I've been um, getting a bunch of stuff on, um, that's been suggested to me lately, which makes me feel kind of creeped out a little bit, but uh, I like all the stuff. <laughs> Alright, uh, what else? Let's try and tuck this little bit under. Can we do it? Oh, you just started to fold your fabrics. Yay, you don't have the groovy cool bins yet, but oh, your shoe box are your temps. Oh, that's a good idea. I love saving um, shoe boxes and the tops of boxes and stuff like that. I, I use that for all sorts of different organizing stuff around the house. But yeah, love my my stair light bins. Oh my god, I don't think I can stuff this under. Get in there. All right, I think I might just have to quickly tack this down to try and 
force everything to stay stuffed underneath there. All right, doing it now. Just an itty bitty stitch. Jeez, I can barely see what I'm doing here. I think it'll be cute though, just this itty bitty guy. He's tucked right under this flower, so that's that'll be sweet. All right, this is the last little tuck under. Hey, I think this is looking good still. I thought this one was gonna be way bigger than the outline and kind of bumped out all over the place, but I think it looks I think it looks good. Awesome. All right. Let's see, how long did it take us to do the two? Yeah, we might get a couple more done yet tonight. That'd be nice. Hey, we might be embroidering by tomorrow. That'd be something. You have your fabrics in a Ziploc bags and then in containers. Oh, that's nice. Oh, uh, you have hairy fur babies in the hub smokes. That's, that's uh, super smart then. That's awesome. I mean, that's gotta be really easy to pull them out and, and try them out and move them around though too. But yeah, one of the reasons why we don't have any pets, even though I'd love a little kitty cat or something. Oh, I just, I just don't want the fur. Oh, <laughs> thanks Michelle. Oh, but I'd love a little kitty cat. Except for he'd probably be a jerk and like push Phil and Zeb on the ground or something, and then I'd be mad at him. Fictional kitty. All right, there is leaf number two. A little smaller than other one, but we, we got it in there. It still looks like a leaf, I think. <laughs> All these other ones are a little bit bigger. This one's kind of small down here, but these other ones are a hair bigger. I think this one just had to be a little smaller so it would fit in this little tiny area there, but I think it's nice. Oh, you got puppies that don't shed? Ooh. That's a deal. <laughs> yeah, I thought about I thought about like one of those cats that doesn't shed. Uh, I think there's a couple breeds, but uh, I think I'm a little allergic, and everyone in my husband's family is a lot allergic or his mom's pretty allergic and I think he's a little allergic too so that that makes it not as easy oh oh it says oh I think you're saying Maru so that's uh in in my book there's I have a, a little cat embroidery a little felt embroidery and he says Maru in a big speech bubble. That's uh, my old cat Kitty who I thought was like the cleverest name ever to name name a cat Kitty <laughs> when I was little. But uh, she had a pretty prominent Maru sound. <laughs> so that's where, that's why the speech bubble is like Maru, Maru. <clears throat> Like it's not a mew, not a little mew. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty big maru. And towards uh, when she got old, um, I think we think she lost her hearing. So then it was a pretty loud, raspy maru after that. Maru. That was kitty. We had kitty and catty at the same time. They were barn cats that we got from grandma's house. Someone just dumped off another kitten here. Oh my gosh. Oh, you've been feeding them. Oh, that's cool, Robin. Do you take care of, um, like, do you foster cats? Like the, the little babies? I follow a few people who do that online because I'm obsessed with their feeds and all these little kitties. See, I think it'd be fun to, you could just care for an, itty bitty kitty and uh, you know just have them for a little while and then they get adopted.
but that's a ton of work though too. Or so it seems. Like you gotta wake up like every two hours to feed them and stuff. <laughs> but baby kitty cats. I wouldn't want to give them away. Who am I kidding? Maybe one day I'll have like four cats. That'd be fun. I think the petals on, not the petals, the leaves on this side of the um, branch are a little easier for me. Oops, I got a little knot in here. There, popped it out. Oh, oh sorry, Carl. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have made it say like meow or, or something like that but I just had to make it say what my cat actually said so it's Maru <laughs> oh that's nice Robin find little homes for the kitties sweet little kitty cats some cats are mean not all of them. Oh, your fabric needs ironing. Whoa, I'm dropping my needle. Need like sticky fingers or something so I don't drop my needle. All right, we're to the first point. I'm going to just trim the back side of it down a little bit, reduce some of that fabric. All right, let's tuck this up in there. Yeah, I don't think I needed the the pins for this. That would have just gotten in the way. Too much stuff to deal with. This is fine, just like this. All right. Oh, I don't know if we have a cat cafe in Minneapolis. I know those are getting popular now. I think we had a pop-up one for a second there, um, but, oh gosh, I don't know if we have a real life one. Maybe there's some legal thing with that here. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I'm going to have to Google that now for sure, though, because I'm going to be getting some kitty cat coffee, uh, if that's the case, if we got one of those in town. I feel like I would have heard about that, though. But, dang, I'm going to have to look it up just to make sure. Oh, you have one in Atlanta, too? A little kitty cat cafe. So nice. I don't know. I always get that feeling of having hair in my mouth and throat and all that. I think part of it's a little allergy-ish, but maybe there is actually all the hair and stuff in my throat, which freaks me out. So, I don't know. Whenever I go to, like, a friend's house that has an, has an animal, I, um, well, not, not all the time, but... Sometimes I get that sensation and I don't know. Another reason why I don't think we can have a real one. <sighs> Sad though. Oh, Kitty, that's cute, LaDonna. Oh, Java Cat, that's cute too. Oh. See, that'd be half the fun of owning one of those, right? Is to come up with the cute name for it. Okay. Oh, I know, I'd be so sad to leave the, the kitty cat f cafe. A lot of those places, though, all the cats are um, shelter cats, so you can actually adopt them, which is kind of cool. All right, I'm just going around this spot again. I'm going to go all the way to the back and come back up, though, I think. Just to really place that point where I want it. Ooh, this one's a little bendier. Or like I got a little point in there, but that's kind of kind of works for a leaf. So I'm gonna leave it. It's a little late now, anyway. Eh, I might be able to poop this up actually. Poop it up a little bit there. Yeah, I have Zeb and Phil, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, right. Not the same as a sweet kitty. Yeah, we're going to lose some of this seam allowance. It's too much. 
too much to stuff in there. Ooh, get in there. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to use the needle to force this in here. I don't want to get it too fuzzily. Yeah, that's true. Step and fill don't don't shed. They also don't cuddle in my lap and do funny kitty stuff either. All right, I'm really trying to stuff this extra edge in here. <laughs> too much seam allowance. I might have to get a, a little stiffer a pin or something, but all right, I think it's starting to get get underneath there. Just had to be patient, I suppose. Oh yeah, you need a third hand to sew down while you pinch these leaves. Yeah, I'm feeling that way a little bit right now. Let's see if we can get them with a bunch of little stitches here without them popping out. All right, I think uh, one more stitch and we will have this guy done. <laughs> yeah, they don't catch mice for me either. Yeah, that's a, uh, um, the, our cats definitely did that. Our cat Kitty always had a present in the garage for us in the morning. <laughs> left some intestines or livers or some body part always of some tiny animal was always in the underneath the car. <laughs> Ugh, see, I gotta trim my edge now. I can't thread it anymore. There we go. Nice clean edge. There we go. I keep accidentally getting my fingers caught on the thread and then pulling it out. Okay, that is three. Three out of uh, six. Let's do, let's see if we can get another one done tonight. Oh, you little... Yorkie just brings loves and kisses. Funny. Oh, you're having, Donna, you're having a hard time getting on? Like it's not, like it's not letting you, it's not letting you access it? Like it's not, it's not playing or something? All right, uh, that's three. Oops, sorry, you guys can't see. There we go. Um, one, two, three, three more scissors. I'm just gonna snip right through here. Again, I'm cutting, cutting pretty thin seam allowances. I think I'll actually have to cut this one down a little bit. Oh no, like your husband's still up. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I see what you're saying, Donna. All right, that one's looking good. Let's start on this side. All right, get some thread going. I mean, these look almost like little grains of rice, like they're they're that small. <laughs> these tiny leaves. But I feel pretty good about them. I'm excited that, I mean, like I would have never been able to do this before while we are working on the Splendid Sampler leaves the small or, or petals or circles or any of this 
or or the hearts even. So I'm I'm stoked. Even probably at the beginning of of this project, I'm not sure we would have been able to do these leaves like this. Oh, he was about a 10. We're still watching a show. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Donna. All right. Right in the middle there. This under, get that first nice arc going. Definitely putting in more stitches on these little ones, these little leaves, um, more so than like a straightaway, uh, to just because I do have to stuff a lot of fabric in here, and these little stitches I think help hold it all in. Oh, you always just went to bed too. Oh, funny. <laughs> Those husbands getting in the way. <laughs> All right. I'm going to just stitch that little spot again. All right. Now let's tuck this edge over. I didn't leave much seam allowance here, so we'll just, we won't trim any off. Tuck all that underneath. Ooh, we did pretty good right away on that. Awesome. I'm going to puff it out a little bit to match that line on the background. Then we should be good. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah, I think so too, Sue. So Sue says she thinks I'm I was right using uh, the stem color for these leaves because I think that's allowing our eye to go here a little bit more because it would have been cute. I, I considered maybe making these all patchworky too, but I think uh, making the leaves patchworky would have taken away from the uniqueness of having the, the petals patchworky. Um, so by having these just kind of blend in with the stem, um, they're still cute and they're still decorative, but our focus is definitely on all the stuff that's happening here. And, and I'm happy about that. So I think, I think it worked. I think this was the right way to go. And you know what? I'm sure if we would have done another color, it would have been kind of cute too. I mean, <laughs> needle turn applique is like inherently cute. <laughs> uh, so I think we kind of couldn't have gone wrong, but, but I'm happy with, with how we did go. I think I get one more stitch in here before I Stuffing it around again. All right, we are just about to that point. Again, I think I am going to put two stitches even here, even though I'm like way close to the point. But having more stitches on this side of it allows me to stuff more fabric in there without it popping out the other side, I think. All right. Oh gosh, yeah, lots of excess here, so I will trim up here for sure. Because I'm I'm at the point right now, so I don't need any of this anymore. Trim that a little too. Hopefully, I didn't trim too much off. Ha! I'm always right. That's what I keep telling everyone, but I don't know if they're listening. <laughs> All right, get this little bit tucked underneath in there. We're gonna force that in there. All 
force this little bit in here too. I don't know, it's popping out. And I guess if I just keep pushing it in there, it'll eventually all get in. Oof, I could have trimmed more, more out. It's kind of fun though, these leaves will be poofy for sure, because of all the fabric stuffed in them. Oh, it's just this point I want to get in a little bit more. Right here. Oh. <laughs> nice, Patricia. <laughs> I suppose you, this could be considered a hardly working, not working hard, a hardly working scenario. Um, all right, I think we're going to get this point as good as it's going to get. Hopefully, maybe I can make this stitch, tuck the stitch underneath and maybe that will pull it in a hair. Ah, it's popping out on me. Stay there. All right, let's see if we can squish it in. Yeah, it'll do. Let's get one more stitch in here. Oops. There we go. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks so much, Sue. I, I'm, I'm glad you're giving it a try. Oh, I know, Cheryl, I think that's, Cheryl, I think that's why I've been continuing and why I wanted to do the needle turn. I was so surprised when I started needle turn that it had that total calming handwork effect. And it was actually the first time I felt that with fabric related things. Uh, for me, like when I'm knitting or crocheting, um, that's my total Zen out craft where, um, where I feel just like totally chill and relax and my brain can shut off a little bit. Uh, but when, when I did needle turn applique for the first time, I, I had that feeling. And like I said, that was the first time I kind of had that with quilting related things. And then I was like, oh, yay, I found one of those little relaxing Zen things with, with quilting. It made me happy. So I'm having a nice time for sure doing the needle turn. All right, let's snip this. Oh, and we've been here almost an hour already, which is kind of crazy. That just zipped right by. See what I'm saying? I'm just having a weirdness with time lately. I have no, uh, no reference for anything anymore. The days are going by fast. The hours are going by fast. I don't know. Life's slipping by, people. <laughs> All right. So I think we're going to stop there. But we got four of these guys done. That's not too shabby. I, I think that's faster than what we would have been able to do this uh, earlier. So that's that's pretty good. Um, I just have those two left. And then we will be on... Oh, no, we don't. We're not on embroidery yet. I forgot I have this whole thing to do yet. Oh, maybe that's why I had this big piece cut out. And I'm like, why do I have a big piece cut out? And I forgot we have this whole section to do. So, all right, tomorrow we'll do these two little leaves first, and then we'll get the the um, the ground here going. I'm gonna have to find that piece. I, I totally forgot what we decided for that even. Eh, well, we'll figure it out, I suppose. <laughs> so uh, that's what that's the plan for tomorrow. Those three things, and then maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll still start some embroidery. Because uh, I don't think that will take us forever to do those two things. So we'll see. So, all right, guys, I'm going to flip you around. We are cruising along on this. Almost done with the needle turn. <laughs> all right. Hello again. 
So here we are for tonight. Oh, it's coming together. It just looks sweeter and sweeter. All those little leaves. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'd love to do a whole a whole other like big uh big illustration or big uh, big a whole big scene with the needle turn. I think that'd be fun. That would be like years worth of work, but I like the idea of that. This is cute. I love it. All right, awesome guys, that is that. Uh, we will pick it up tomorrow again. Oh, and remember, there's one more day for the cute blankies from Bets White, and uh, tomorrow's the last day. So, uh, ooh, I hope I get my my new my new blankie soon. Um, but anyway, check those out and uh, check out this uh, block of the month, the Jacqueline Steves block of the month that is free till the end of December. Then it'll come down. You won't be able to download the pieces anymore after that. So make sure to get it as soon as you can. And again, Monday, we start up the cute little unicorn. I'm totally stoked for this. I think it's gonna be a fast, easy, a uh, fun project. So that'll be, that'll be neat to try. Um, all right. That's that guys. I'll get this up on Penguin and Fish movies on YouTube and have a great night, everyone. I will see you tomorrow. Good night.